the lace bark elm is one of the most recommended trees for western Oklahoma. And today we're here at Sunshine Nursery in Clinton with Steve Biebert. Welcome right. back to our program, Steve. Glad to be here. And Steve, you've been doing some work with lace bark elms, and can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing? Well, Steve, you know, lace bark elm is one of the best trees for our, our part of the state, but there's always a few problems in, in, with any species of tree. And so one of the things that we're looking for is a lace bark elm that has the, the beautiful exfoliating bark, you know, the peeling bark that's very attractive. Yet we also are really interested in having uh, very cold hardy trees, plus that are resistant to black spot and thracnose, which is a, a fungal disease that causes some of the leaves maybe to drop off uh, along in early May. It's not a bad problem, but it's something we're, we're trying to work on to, to, to have improvements on. To get rid of it. One of the things that we're doing is we have this tree that, that came in from Korea. This is the Almus parvifolia coriana, which is a Korean form of lace bark elm that is probably the most resistant to the black spot and thracnose and is also very, very cold hardy. And the only drawback is it maybe doesn't have as beautiful a bark as we'd like to see. And so we, we're trying to actually make some crosses and I'll show you here. Uh, this, this particular lace bark is the, is the golden lace bark. This is almost Parvifolia uh, aria, okay. which uh, has real beautiful bark, has nice, uh, real pretty gold and mottled uh, exfoliating bark. Uh, we need a little bit more cold hardiness in, in the golden one. So what we're doing is we're actually taking the pollen from the coriana tree and control crossing it with flowers that are in these paper bags. And we actually wrap the branches before this uh, tree blooms so that there's no foreign pollen comes in here. And then we store the pollen from the, the Korean tree. And then at the right time, we, we open the bag, introduce it, and then tape it up. And then we'll leave these bags on the, the female tree until mm -hmm. uh, the seed is matured. And then we'll harvest them. And then we'll, it's a long process. We'll be growing seedlings from this for another uh, 10 or 15 years to actually see if we've made some crosses that will that will be better trees, and so that's it, that's how uh, new plants are developed. Okay, so it takes some time. Yes, it's a it's not something you do if you don't have a lot of patience. Okay, well I'm certain that's something that you have a lot of. Uh, out here in western Oklahoma, can you give us some recommendations, uh, some really good trees that you think are well worth planting? Yeah, we have a number of, of real fine species. Uh, uh, Schumert oak uh, is the red oak that's native to uh, central and western parts of Oklahoma, and it's probably one of the overall best uh, trees for fall color. It's, uh, it's the Oklahoma proven tree of the that's year. Uh, Caddo sugar maple, which is native down in uh, Caddo and Canadian counties, is a good uh, uh, shade tree, uh, has good fall color, and does well in, in fairly dry climates. Uh, Chinese pistache is a tree that's proven to be extremely drought tolerant makes rather a round top tree, can have fall color, is, is another tree that we really recommend. Uh, burr oak, the old uh, native oak to the western Oklahoma, uh, makes a spectacular huge tree. Mm -hmm. And other species of, uh, of native oaks, like chinkapin oak, I think is an extremely good tree, and uh, we should use more. And uh, uh, those are some of the ones that we, we a lot of times use most often, but there's, there's other trees that will also, there are maybe like red bud and uh, uh, Mexican plum and things like that, but uh, those are just some of the ones that comes to mind. Okay, so these are some really tough trees. It takes tough, tough trees to grow out here. Okay, a little bit different than uh, even Stillwater in, in eastern Oklahoma. Well, you know, we have uh, uh, less rainfall, maybe a little bit uh, colder weather. We're higher elevation out here, and our pH of our soil is, is very high, so it makes uh, establishing woody plants just harder. A little bit harder. Well, I think you're doing a really good job, and I'm sure a lot of us will appreciate the research, and we'll look forward to seeing these new elms. Well, I'm sure glad you all came and visited today. Appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.